Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 360. Mixed Platelet and Coagulation Disorders. What are the two mixed platelet and coagulation disorder? The two disorders that are mixed platelet and coagulation disorders are von Willebrand's disease and disseminated intravascular coagulation. What type of inheritance is von Willebrand's disease? Von Willebrand's disease is an autosomal dominant inheritance. How common is von Willebrand's disease? Von Willebrand's disease is the most common inherited bleeding disorder. It's a mild condition but it's still important to know because it's the most common inherited bleeding disorder. Describe how von Willebrand's disease causes platelet problems. In von Willebrand's disease, there is a defect in the platelet plug formation due to decrease in the von Willebrand factor. And when there is a decrease in the von Willebrand factor, this leads to defect in the platelet to von Willebrand factor adhesion. So therefore, the platelets will not be able to adhere to the damaged endothelium, therefore leading to a bleeding disorder. Describe how von Willebrand's disease leads to coagulation problems. When there is a decrease in the von Willebrand factor, this will also lead to a decrease in factor 8 of coagulation pathway. And the reason for this is because von Willebrand factor is what carries and protects factor 8. And in this way, factor 8 becomes exposed leading to defects in the intrinsic pathway of coagulation. And since we know that factor 8 is part of the intrinsic coagulation pathway, there would be normal to elevated partial thromboplastin time. How is von Willebrand's disease diagnosed? Von Willebrand's disease is diagnosed with Ristocetin cofactor assay. Describe the changes in the lab values seen in Von Willebrand's disease. In Von Willebrand's disease, there is going to be no change to the platelet count because there is no direct effect on the platelet count itself. There is going to be an increase in the bleeding time and as we said, the reason for that increase in bleeding time is because of the defect in platelet to Von Willebrand factor adhesion. There is no change to the prothrombin time because there is no effect on the extrinsic pathway. But since von Willebrand factor does have an effect on the coagulation factor 8, there could be a normal to an increase in the partial thromboplastin time. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.